It is now my great pleasure to recognize a football team that 50 years ago, just a few blocks down the road, did battle with the Kwame Indians and came out ahead. The 1961 2A state football champions, Don Redskins. I would respectfully like to recognize each individual that came here. 50 years ago this happened, and I've seen upstairs already, this impacted these gentlemen and their families' lives like nothing else. So if you may, allow me to recognize and hold your applause till after we recognize everybody. This is a team that played 50 years ago. Here's who showed up today. Ladies and gentlemen, the head coach, Earl Scott. The quarterback, Luz Pedrasa. Fullback linebacker, Fred Edwards. Yeah. Halfback safety, Alfredo Avila. Halfback safety, Abel Benavides. Tackle in, Harry Lance. Center, Jim Hume. Quarterback, Richard Avila. Yeah. Guard, Raul Alvarado. Student manager, Jim Goodjoy. And representing the deceased Donna Redskins, the widow of coach Benny LaProd, Barbara LaProd, the son of defensive end Fabian Barrera, Fabian. and the son of middle linebacker Raul De La Garza, Stephen De La Garza. Also present, the producer and director of the documentary Miracle at Donna, Frank Aragon. Ladies and gentlemen, the only state champion to represent the Rio Grande Valley of the state of Texas, your 1961 Donna here. Thank you very much, Jeff. And now it is my pleasure to be able to introduce to you a gentleman that uh, early on when I started my quest, my good friend Chuck kind of took me aside. He said, if you do one thing, you better talk to Ken Hall. And uh, it was on my to-do list already, Chuck, uh, but thank you for the reminder because it really did mean something. And folks, it would be doing a disservice to say Ken Hall is just the greatest individual high school football player to ever play the game in the United States. And the reason is it's true, but that would be leaving out all the aspects that make Ken Hall, the great human being that he is. I like to think that his accomplishments as a, as a football player have stayed with him through his life and have really guided him. But I've seen few people that are so willing to take the time out to talk to folks, to talk to young people, to talk to people that love football, to talk to strangers, and uh, do all that. And not only do that, they run a pretty great barbecue joint all those years in Fredericksburg. Uh, I like to think I know a few things about barbecue, but I had a I had an education sitting at the table in Fredericksburg. All I can say is there have been a lot of uh, people play football since Ken Hall did in the early 1950s. But the fact that the career rushing record of over 11,000 yards has yet to be broken 
despite the fact teams play a lot more games and go deeper in the playoffs, should tell you a lot about this gentleman here and his prowess on the field. But like I said, to say he's a great player is not saying enough because it is an honor and a pleasure and really a privilege not only to have been able to sit at his table and talk about not just football and barbecue, but talk about life, but to be able to introduce you to him tonight. It is my honor to introduce the Sugarland Express Ken Hall. Thank you for those kind words. Uh, he did come out of the house. He did stay a while. Had he come later, we'd have fixed beds for him, but he came early, so what we ought to have was lunch. But he is one great guy. You can sit and talk to him all day long. And folks, what he has done here, with all the help of the other people at this wonderful museum, wait till you see what you're going to see. There's a history, there's a story, it's going to make you cry, it's going to make you do a few other things too. It's a wonderful, wonderful job. My congratulations to everyone who had a hand and a part in this. Everyone. Give everybody a, some applause for those who haven't seen it. It's a, a great event and will be highly successful.